So what's up people? It's me again. And today I'm going to talk about clarifying shampoo. Now, it is very important if you are on a healthy hair journey or any kind of, you know, if you're doing a lot of things with your hair to have a clarifying shampoo. Co-washing is really good. Deep conditioning is really good. But a lot of times your hair does get built up. So if you're not going to shampoo a couple of times, at least you should clarify at least maybe once a month to just kind of freshen up your hair and everything. And ironically, my niece and I were talking about clarifying shampoo and she is natural. Those of you that don't know, I am relaxed, but I do wash and deep condition my hair or cold wash and deep condition my hair every week or as needed. So... A lot of times when you're deep conditioning and you're putting a lot of stuff, especially oils and, th and things of that nature, I moisturize and seal. I usually do it every night or every other night depending on what my hair needs. I've been having to do it every night simply because of the weather and it being so cold outside and having to put more moisture in my hair to last throughout the day. So because of that, it's important to clarify. And in a previous video, I did discuss the fact that my scalp has been getting dry. It's still getting dry. Like I said, the weather has a lot to do with that. Even though I'm oiling my scalp, even though I'm moisturizing my hair, because my hair is exposed to the elements outside, it happens and you just have to deal with it as it comes along. So this is my recommendation for a clarifying shampoo and it's the Olive Oil Creamy Aloe Shampoo. And I'll put it right here. And I got this bottle actually at Sally's. It was about 5 or $6. I know some people use the Suave um, Clarifying Shampoo. It's usually a dollar. You can find it in a dollar store. You can find it at Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, Target, wherever you want to find it. It's usually around a dollar. Now, see, I have used that before in the past, and I felt like it just completely stripped my hair. And Clarifying Shampoo is supposed to strip your hair, but it felt really, really stringy and dry, and just I didn't like it. Now, if you recognize this, this olive oil shampoo is the same one that comes in the perm kit this is the same neutralizer shampoo that comes in your perm kit in a little packet i just got the bottle of it and it says it removes buildup restores moisture gently cleans gently cleanses i'm sorry and neutralizes now this is more of what i would go for for a clarifying shampoo because you want to Remove the buildup, but at the same time, you don't want to dry your hair out, especially if you're experiencing dry scalp. And I love this because it has it says creamy aloe, and it feels really, really good. It does refresh your hair. Of course, it's going to feel a little bit, you know, kind of, you know, stringy or whatever, but not to the point that the suave does. Now, I'm not against the suave. If you want to use it, you go ahead and buy it. But me personally, I prefer the olive oil because it just feels so good on your hair once you i mean i shamp recently just shampooed my hair just a few minutes ago and i used it and i love the way my hair feels it felt clean without feeling completely just dry and that's what i don't want okay so another thing because I was experiencing dry scalp, I usually get it a lot in the front and so i'm gonna get a little bit closer and so as you can see I just use the clarifying shampoo. I haven't deep conditioned yet. I scratch my scalp a little bit over the tub and use the clarifying shampoo to just help get all of that gunk out and everything. And as you can see, there is no buildup. There is no buildup. There's no flakes. There's no dryness or anything like that. And I get very, very dry around here, you know. And so I'm happy with the results of it. Um... So, yeah, that's my recommendation for a clarifying shampoo if you are interested. Neutrogena also has one as well. I have not tried that one, but I heard good things about it. So, you can either try this one, try the Neutrogena, or stick with the swab. It's really up to you. I prefer, I personally will go ahead and go with this one. So, that's the end of the video. It's just Chrissy, and I'll see y'all next time.